Hey guys, AJ Gore here. I want to take a minute to share with you a little tip about crankbaits. This is going to be crankbaits volume one. Today we're going to cover lipless crankbaits, or as others may know it, a rattle trap. Okay, so let's go over how I have this lipless crankbait rigged and what kind of a pole I'm using it on. What I've got it on is a medium to medium fast action pair G rod made by Casking, a uh, bait casting outfit. I've got a bait casting reel uh, in the form of the new Casking Speed Demon. It's a 9 3 to 1 gear ratio. You don't need a high speed gear ratio, but it works great. Being the fact that this is a fast moving bait, I can just leisurely use this reel. It's going to retrieve it very fast, and I won't have to work so hard. If I want to slow it down, you know, I just go slower. Uh, I'm using some Cast King braided line, about 30 pound test. Uh, you can use a plastic line. Uh, Cast King has lots of options in those. And I would recommend a, between a 12 to 17 pound test if you're gonna be running a plastic line. Uh, now, if you're gonna run a plastic line, fluorocarbon would be premium choice. Uh, it's going to sink a little more where monofilament will float. Now a popular thing people are doing right now is they're tying uh, a, a liter of fluorocarbon to their braided line. You can do that, no problem. Learn how to tie an Alberto knot, give yourself about a five, six foot liter, and you're good to go. So this bait is actually very easy to use because it's a bait that you're just going to throw out and retrieve. Yes, you can do some pauses, you can do some jerks and twitches, but if you want to just simply cast it straight out and retrieve it right back, that bait's going to work. This is a bait you can throw a hundred times, cover a lot of ground with it quickly, or water I should say, and see what is going to strike and what's not going to strike. Um, this is a bait, a lot of people are skeptical of using this bait, especially where I'm at in structure, but you can fish it in structure because it will point down. It points downwards and it will deflect off of rocks and trees fairly decent. Now here in a minute, I'm gonna show you a modified version of a lipless crankbait, how you can fish more in structure. A rattle trap or lipless crankbait is a great bait to use because it is a very easy bait to use. For a novice, weekend warrior, somebody just beginning, this is a bait you can get off the shelf tie onto a pole and just start throwing it out and get reaction strikes. That's exactly what this bait is. It's a treble hook, dual treble hook, and it's full of rattles or BBs or whatever you want to call them, and that's going to emit a lot of sound. This bait travels through the water at a really hard jerking pace, uh, and it will make a lot of motion, a lot of thump with the BBs as well. Fish are going to strike it and they're going to strike it hard. This is a great bait to choose. So let me show you one of the modifications that I do to some of my lipless crankbaits that you can do very easily and very affordably. Everybody has the spinnerbait laying around that the skirt's falling off of or just kind of messed up. Well, you can take the spoon off of it or the willow leaf or even the Colorado leaf and attach it to where the treble, the rear treble hook went on your lipless crankbait. I don't know if you can see that very well. What you're gonna wanna do is get a swivel with the split rings on it, kind of a barrel swivel detach your hook your treble hook be careful boo-boos happen that's not from uh from a treble hook but it easily could have been <laughs> anyways and go ahead and replace that treble hook with your barrel split ring uh swivel there and attach your spinner blade blade now what that's going to do is remove that treble off the rear and this thing is actually going to now be able to be thrown more in your structure and when it hits some of those trees and some of the weeds it's not going to hook up as much and I know what you're thinking, you're going, well, that's gonna reduce my hookup ratio on fish. Not really, this is a reaction bait. Fish are gonna hit it and they're gonna hit it hard because it's, it's moving by quickly, very fast, and they're gonna hit it because it's aggressive, they're gonna be aggressive. And when you add that, that uh, blade to it, all it's gonna do is add more vibration, more thump, and more flash to an already successful reaction bait. 